In this example, we will be approximating the square root of 97 by looking at the closest values that are perfect squares nearby. So, let's first take a look at 9 squared, which is 81. We'll also look at 10 squared, which is 100. We can see that 97 falls between 81 and 100. Using this information, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 97, which is less than the square root of 100. We can write this because we know that 81 is less than 97, which is less than 100. Now let's rewrite the square root of 81 as 9, because 9 squared is 81. We can rewrite the square root of 100 as 10, because 10 squared is 100. Now I can see that the square root of 97 is between 9 and 10. To find a 10th place approximation, we can look at 10th place values between 9 and 10. However, we should look closer to 10 because 97 is closer to 100. So we can try values like 9.8 to start. Let's see what 9.8 times 9.8 is, and if it's close to 97, that'll be our approximation. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 6 is 78, add our 0. 9 times 8 is 72, carry the 7. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 7 is 88. Now when we add these together, we end up getting 96.04, which is very close to 97. Let's just try 9.9 .9 times 9.9 .9 to see if we can get any closer. 9, 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 8 is 89. Add our 0, and then we can repeat those values because it's the same number multiplied again. Now let's just add these together. We add these together, we end up getting 98. 0.01. So we can see that the 96.04 is actually a little bit closer to 97 than the 98.01 is. So we can see that 9.8 squared gives us approximately 97. So 9.8 gives us approximately the square root of 97. And this is our tenths place approximation.